This video is basically part two of my previous video in which I rough down this uh, oak log with my homebrew uh, spindle gouge trying uh, to make a uh, carver's mallet. So now I'm going to continue making that mallet that is uh, supposed to save my uh, carving chisels from destruction. See what I mean? This one here has been hit too many times with the uh, metal hammer. Okay, I've uh, decided that this end is going to be the hammer head. And that's not a decision made on uh, grain structure or any wood knowledge. Uh, I just think it would be easier to make the hammer head this way because on the other end the chuck is in the way. I never managed to do that before. You gotta be careful not to hit the uh, uh, jaws of the chuck. They can really mess up an edge. As you can hear, more wood is being cut. That's a good thing. So that's gonna be the end of my handle. Resharpening this thing really helps a lot. Well, I just made my first mistake. I uh, accidentally hit this uh, end, and a huge chunk flew off. The uh, the driving tanks are still uh, in the wood, so for now it'll be okay. But. Uh, Hopefully this will survive long enough to get this project finished. Otherwise my handle will be a lot shorter. Oops. I should stop doing that. Too much. So it didn't take me long to mess this up. It broke. So now I gotta make this uh, run through again. And I'll do this with the uh, flimsy uh, chisel. The battery died so you missed a really good catch, but don't worry, this hammer will still be amazing. I resharpened and you can really see the difference. Sharp, not so much sharp. From all the uh, pictures I've seen, uh, these are supposed to be uh, a bit tapered. And I will also cut a bit of a, a barrel shape into it. There's a little bird in uh, this thing. Let's tighten the tailstock. That, uh, that was loosening the tailstock. I uh, need to resharpen this thing, and this time. I should not remove the burr. Apparently the uh, burr does the cutting. There's a burr 
again. I'm going to put a bit of oil on the uh, on the center. I got a thick center, so a lot of friction. Bye bye birdie. set up the uh, small tool rest that came with the lathe so I can work on the top of the mallet. Uh, I would like it to be a bit dome shaped. It's not taking off much. Oh, oh, Man, that end grain is hard to cut. It's still pretty wet, so it's hard uh, to sand it down. So I'll leave it uh, overnight, and tomorrow evening uh, I'll uh, I'll use some finer sandpapers and then put on some oil. So it's the next day. And I uh, took the handle inside so it uh, would dry a little quicker. And it uh, feels a lot drier now. So I'm getting ready to sand this thing. It did develop a crack over here, so hopefully it won't break. And this is 400. Compressor. Let's uh, put on some raw linseed oil. I think I remember this shirt. That should do it for now. I'll put on more later looks pretty good. I oh, know, it looks amazing. Not sure if trying to part this off is a good idea, at least not when it's done by me, but uh, well, you gotta learn sometime. I don't think that was the world's best part of it. It was my best, so far. Look at that. It's uh, like a small baseball bat. A bit. And if you uh, carve it up, it will be a cricket bat. A small one, but still. Cricket, baseball, both equally boring to watch. Over here they uh, play kids, which is uh, totally boring to watch and overly complicated and no bat is needed it's a good thing I don't have any balls laying around or do I? alright let's try it out as you can see I already got the next lock mounted for the next hammer I think I'm gonna make a set of three, one bigger, one smaller. Okay, here we go. Nice. 
not a scratch. I think if the old chisel could talk, it would tell us that it's very heavy now. And so am I. We have come to the end of the video and uh, this is where I should start begging for more uh, likes and comments and subscribers because uh, according to the internet gurus this will put me on the uh, short track to internet fame and immortality but uh, does it really help? You tell me, put it in a comment. I, uh, I like uh, the comments because uh, well the others they are just numbers.